My name is Samira. I'm a fifth grader, and I'm the creator of that board game that you are looking at, Coder Buttons. My mission is to get young kids, just like you, excited about coding in a really fun way. I loved board games and I loved coding, but then there were like two things I had to do separately. I, I, knew, I thought it was kind of like a different idea, a unique idea, to create like a board game and coding together, and I wanted to combine them into like one really fun thing. So here's a question. What is a bunny's favorite food? Carrots. Carrots. Anything else? Lettuce. Lettuce. Anything else? Yeah. Carrots and lettuce. Anything else? Sometimes grass. Sometimes grass. <laughs> I've, I've been doing workshops for maybe ever since, even before the game came into market, ever before Coder Bunnies came into market. And I really wanted to do it because uh, I love teaching people, right? I teach my brother all the time just really cool and fun and exciting things. And I want to teach more than one person. And I want to teach them things I was really good at so that since if I'm good at it, I can teach other kids or other people how to be good at it. So in this case, your problem was to help your bunny eat its colored carrot and then reach the destination. But how are you going to do that? So what you guys did was you created a sequence of code and then you executed that code to help your bunny eat its carrot and then reach the destination. So you solved the problem. I did my first workshop of Coder Bunnies when I was actually in second grade and it was a great experience and ever since then I've kept on doing workshops. I've done oh, over 60 workshops at various places. Um, I've taught over 1,200 kids and over 50 at Google headquarters. So it's an amazing experience and I really enjoy doing it. When parents were getting so engaged in the game themselves that like the kid and the parent were like working together and that was probably my favorite part of the whole Google headquarters experience. I got to meet one of the heads of Google, the chief cultural officer Stacy Sullivan and um, she basically told me how I was, uh, I was doing like great job and that I have a job offer at Google but then she's like oh wait no you're gonna create your own company when you're older. My brother like he was hearing so much about AI and then he He's like, so what really is AI? And that's what got me thinking, like, wouldn't so many other kids have that question too? And so after getting a few tips from my dad and a few lessons, I decided to create the world's first ever artificial intelligence board game. And since my brother was my main inspiration, I wanted him to be a part of it too. And so we actually worked together on this project. He gave a lot of the inputs, a lot of the suggestions, and he was a great help and a big inspiration. One of my main goals, what I want to do when I grow up, is I actually want to become the president of America. I want to teach underrepresented kids, especially girls, how to code so that they understand coding, right? And since coding is literally what the world runs on nowadays, so maybe if they understand some of the concept, that when they grow older, they can um, have a job in computer science. They can think of it as a career option. But um, so that when they are older and they can support a family and maybe live a happy life.